Hi, Ruronis! This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. So today, we're going to take a look, because we already did part six of all six parts of my anime collection. I'm going to show you some 70s, 80s, and 90s movies, but there's mostly of them. There's some Disney that stuff is there, so let's do this today on the Physical Media Video Library series. Welcome back. Okay, so here we're going to be taking a look at something. I have mostly of these 70s and 80s and 90s movies, particularly most of them, but there's ones in TV shows. My super... And it's and also got like my little superhero section I have here. And I also, which we'll be taking a look at next time on the superhero ones. And I also have some Disney, because my Disney collection is starting to spread out. Because there's probably lack of shelf space, that's why. So without any further ado, let's dive into what we got. The first one I have is Serenity, which is the DVD Blu-ray combo release. This was kind of, I have not watched, but I'm, it's part of movies that I have not watched as well. Next I have is Mrs. Doubtfire. I got this at a Goodwill store. Particularly, Yeah, this is the original VHS release of Mrs. Doubtfire. I have a couple of some CBS Fox Video VHS release ones. I have are The Abyss and Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, and this apparently did got a DVD and Blu-ray release. And I also have my favorite movie that I have here is The Warriors. This is a Director's Cut Edition, the Ultimate Director's Cut Edition. On the DVD Blu-ray combo pack, did include the original theatrical version of The Warriors. This has the introduction by director Walter Hill, and this has four features. It's the beginning, Battleground, The Way Home, and Phenomenon, and this includes the, the original theatrical trailer on The Warriors I have. And I also have my the only Ralph Bakshi movie I like is this one, American Pop. This is particularly my favorite Ralph Bakshi film. This is the only one I like more because it's particularly released in 1981. And of course, I have Pink Floyd: The Wall, which is particularly my favorite. Yeah, I did a movie review on Pink Floyd: The Wall and American Pop. If you want to check those out. Yeah, this is the original 1999 DVD release from Columbia Music Home Video on there. And I also have, from the Blu-rays, I have Heavy Metal on Blu-ray. This is the first time I wanted to get Heavy Metal, which is particularly a couple years ago, I guess, because this has some, some feature on the extras on there. This has the delete scenes with the optional commentary. And this has the original theatrical feature length rough cut with optional commentary by Carl Masek on there. This has Imagining Heavy Metal documentary on there. Yeah, this is particularly the first, because this is the best of the 80s movies, which, heavy, if you haven't looked for an 80s movie that'll mess up with your mind, pick up Heavy Metal, because it's available on Blu-ray. And next I have is The the Road Warrior. This is actually my first Mad Max movie I got on Blu-ray. Yeah, because I had to get this at a library book sale not too long ago. Because, why not? Because I have to get it on Blu-ray. And, of course, I have the Enchanted Edition of The Last Unicorn on DVD and Blu-ray from Shout Factory. Because this is my first movie I got on Blu DVD and Blu-ray combo from Shout Factory. And I also have the Final Cut Edition of Blade Runner. Yeah, because I had to get... Blade Runner, the final cut, because this is the first time I wanted to get Blade Runner. There's also the five-disc set edition of Blade Runner. And, of course, I have a couple editions of Lady Hawk, which I was going to show you. I have the 1997 DVD release of Lady Hawk. And I also have the Warner Archive collection of Lady Hawk on Blu-ray, which I was going to show you. Because I have a couple editions like I have, just more definitive which is the best to have definitive editions on your DVD collection. And I have The Labyrinth, which I have shown you before, because I got this 
what, back in 2017, last in, in, which was on Christmas. And of course I have Mortal Kombat. This is actually my favorite video game mov movie based on a video game. This does not include the making of Mortal Kombat on there, but it only has the video game trailer and the tie-in animated adventure. Mortal Kombat The Journey Begins and the actual trailer to the movie Mortal Kombat on there. And of course I have... Another set that I have is completed, which I was going to show you. I think I'm going to spread these to the side, as I was going to show you for the first time. In my DVD collection video, which I was going to show you as well. Because, and another set that I have is, com that I have is complete. The Incredible Hulk with Bill Bixby. Yes, I have all five season sets of them of the, on DVD. I was originally going to get, like, the complete series set on there, but to make otherwise, I would just, but for, but actually I had to start with getting the season sets, because it's better to have it like a complete collection, because it looks like I have completed all five seasons of The Incredible Hulk on DVD, because it's all completed as well, come to think of it, it as, what, I have a lot to do. Yeah, because you can't go wrong with The Incredible Hulk with Bill Bixby on DVD. Because I have all five season sets of them completed as well. And of course I have the two TV movie ones I have on DVD. Yeah, I have The Incredible Hulk t two discs, m t TV movie two disc set ones. Which has The Incredible Hulk Returns and The Trial of the Incredible Hulk on there. Which is a two disc set. And The Death of the Incredible Hulk on DVD which I have shown you as well. Because can't have the, because no collection wouldn't be complete without him, and of course I have the Incredible Hulk television series Ultimate Collection. I got this at Barnes and Noble back in 2006, because you can't go wrong with it, because it's probably the definitive DVD set I have, and I have the full screen special edition of Spider-Man on DVD. Yeah, disc two ha and disc one and two has some of these extras on there, which is the content on there. And I have a couple of Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, which I have, which are The Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton and Iron Man with Robert Downey Jr. on here, in case you're wondering. And I, of course, I have a couple of the Ghostbusters movies, which I have are Ghostbusters 1 and 2 I have here. Yes, one of these did got a Blu-ray release, which I'll be upgrading at one point. And I have some questionable DVD again, the questionable DVDs, because you know my Disney collection is starting to spread out because you know there's some lack of shelf space. That's why I have a couple volumes of Darkwing Duck, except for Volume One, because the Volume One cover was missing. Yeah, because I mean I used to, yeah, which I've shown you before, particularly as well. And of course I have a couple of Ducktales DVDs, minus Volume Two, but I, I didn't got. I have DuckTales Volume 1 and Volume 3 on DVD here. And I have DuckTales Duck to the Future on VHS, which I've shown you before. And of course I have some Disney movies on v DVD, which I was going to spread them out to the side. Which I was going to show you. Oop, here. Because, you know, it's probably a lack of shelf space. I have Flubber, The Emperor's New Groove, Search of Castaways, The Ugly Dachshund, and The Three Lives of Thomas Cena I have here. Because, you know, my Disney movie collection is probably starting to have lack of shelf space, which is a reason I have. And, of course, I have the two movie collection of Old Yeller, which includes Savage Sam on here. And I have Darby O'Gill and the Little People, which I've shown you before. And I have Toy Story 2 here. And of course, I have a couple of the Disney Renaissance movies of the 90s, which I have are The Lion King and Aladdin. One of these probably are available on Blu-ray. And I have a couple of Fantasia movies on here, which I have, as I was going to show you. I have Fantasia and Fantasia 2000, particularly, which I was going to show you as well. And of course, I have... My from my boxed set box set ones here, I have Fantasia, the 
Deluxe Commemorative Edition box set I have, which I've shown you before. Which I have from my boxed set er, sections I have here. And, of course, I have a, a couple of 80s Disney Dark Era ones. Like, I have The Watcher in the Woods and Something Wicked This Way Comes, which I've shown you before as well. And, of course, down there, which I'm not going to pull them out, I have another edition of Old Yeller on VHS, and I have The Jungle Book on VHS, The Fox and the Hound, My Age Joe Young, Pollyanna, and the live-action Jungle Book as well. And that's all I have for my DVD collection with for the miscellaneous section for today. So that's going to be it for my miscellaneous section for, for this video of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video 2021 update that is made possibly with the physical media video library service for today, you guys. Thank you for watching. But before we go, here's my thoughts for this. Because now that I did my video on the miscellaneous section here, because we're going to be taking a look at some of the horror movies collections there. Again, a little spread. It. My horror movie collection is going to be spread out, which I'm going to show you for tomorrow because, you know, due to the lack of shelf space, that's why. But we'll get to that for tomorrow. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description of the book. Share this video on your Twitter Facebook. If you have a Twitter Facebook account and all social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuRoniK95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Hit the notifications bell button. Because tomorrow we're going to be doing the horror movie question. Because we're going to be taking a look at those tomorrow. Because that didn't take very long. This is RuRoniK95 saying thank you for watching my video. And I'm glad you liked it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. And hope you have a great day. This is RuRoniK95 signing off. And thank you for watching my video. And I will see you soon for more videos. And hope you have a happy Martin Luther King Day.